So I should probably explain something which is uh, has been on my mind for a couple of weeks and is still on my mind, but tonight I actually put it out there to the public, well I say the public, my friend list on Facebook, and um, I got quite a positive response to something which I've been thinking about, so I'm going to explain it to you guys and let's just see what you think about it, but first, roll the titles. <laughs> So what this whole thing is, is that basically I've become sort of bored of where I'm living. Like, a lot of people um, have seen the videos that I've made up, um, like, in and around where I live. You've obviously seen what the uh, flat is like where I live and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, don't get me wrong, it, it's a lovely flat and I still love it myself and, you know, I... I do enjoy living here but I've got to face some facts like this this town that I live in has next to no um, employment available and for someone who's been out of work for like coming up to four years this year like being out of work for a long time is just so depressing especially when you're in such an effort to try and get back into work and you know every other day you just getting rejected from jobs and you know you don't even hear back from the employers in most cases but those that you do are just saying, oh, sorry, position filled and all this kind of stuff. And you just say, do you know what? This this isn't working for me. And that that's, that's what this boils down to. It isn't working for me. Of course, moving isn't just something that I can do overnight. Um, there is a lot of planning that has to go into this. Because I do want to move area. I've been looking into uh, Liverpool tonight. Um, and... You know, I, I love Liverpool as a city anyway. Um, it's just a, a fucking amazing place. Uh, and I've been looking at properties on the internet and kind of like thinking, well, could I afford this, you know? What would it actually be like living there? And again, the, the, the truth of that is is that the, there is work there. You know, there is jobs going nearly every day because these companies just, can't seem to get enough staff. Um, housing wise, I mean, yeah, okay. Like I've been looking at city centre tonight, and yeah, that is a little bit more expensive than that. But it's it's what I want, you know. I don't like living in in this town because, like, especially of a weekend when it comes to like nights out and that kind of thing, you never have a night out in the local area because there's nowhere that's like open late that's good um you can't get alcohol after midnight in this town you know if you want anything like that you have to go out of town for it and it's like well why not just move to somewhere where you don't have to go out of town i like i like liverpool because you know there's you're guaranteed somewhere in liverpool there is always a, a convenience shop open there's always a pizza place open there's <clears throat> there's always something going on as well you know you've got like arenas uh, you've got theatres, you've got so many nightclubs and bars and that kind of thing. And then you've got like special events that get put on like near enough all the time. And you just, I don't know, I just look at Liverpool and I'm like, that's, that's the kind of life that I want. Another thing that sells Liverpool as a viable option to me is the fact that it isn't a million miles away from where I'm living at the moment. It's about, I'd say to the city centre, it's probably about half an hour away from me 40 minutes maybe so it's like the, the friends and the family that I've got here at the moment in this town or around this town and that kind of thing it's not like severely out of their way if they wanted to come and visit me 
and you know I've got my mobile phone I've got the internet I've got that kind of thing so it's like technology is still there I would still be able to keep in touch with everyone that I'm in touch with now like you know that kind of thing wouldn't have to change the only thing that could possibly hold me back is having Trey and that's that's not that's not like saying that he's a bad thing and anything like that but you know I, I would have to get a place that would allow pets because you know I've I've Okay, maybe I've not had him for, like, years and that, but, like, me and him do have this sort of bond now, and I, I, I really don't think I could give him up. Like, that's just not an option, so I have to go somewhere where pets are allowed. Um, and from having looked at a couple of properties online tonight, I can't see many places that are saying no pets allowed and that kind of thing, so it is possible that he could move with me. Um, and then, yeah... There's just there's just lots of lots of stuff to think about, um, because it it is a big task moving. But <clears throat> I don't know if I said it on video at all. But when it came to two thousand and fourteen, um, I definitely said I wanted two thousand and fourteen to be my year. Um, I wanted change to happen. I want I want a lot of things to happen in two thousand and fourteen now. Maybe a lot of that can't happen, but the things that I can make happen, <clears throat> if this year is going to be my year, I have to make them happen. And this is just one of them things. I really think now is my time to move on. I think this this year has got to be the one that makes me rather than breaks me. So, see where it goes.